Traversing between dimensions, a lone wizard approached an Ethereum blacksmith in search of knowledge. During their exchange of ideas, they caused a rift in the dimensional fabric, causing two unlikely worlds to merge. Neither of them expected that this would bring a powerful being to our realm. Meet the Dryad. The Dryad is a physical manifestation of the will of Terraria itself. With the wisdom of untold ages, she takes up arms to protect and defend her home against evil and corruption. Her world tree is an anchor for all of her ferocious defenses. Making sure to do her 100 push-ups, sit-ups, squats and 10 kilometers of running per day, the Dryad trained for battle and took up sword, mixing gusts of leaves that poison her enemies. Disconnected from her world, the corruption fights for the Dryad's soul. Luckily, over her eons-long struggle to purify Terraria, she mastered her ability to purify and occasionally control the corruption, manipulating its power to supplement her own. Dryad's blessing protects the Dryad from harm by buffing her resistances. When in her corrupt form, the leaves become razor sharp and rip through any nearby enemies. With powder toss, the Dryad hurls a pouch of purification powder onto the ground creating a healing field of mushrooms that also slow enemies. In corrupt form, the Dryad then throws corruption powder to create a damaging field of vile mushrooms. These mushrooms tend to explode, entangling any enemies that have been caught in the blast. Calling upon the power of the cosmos, Starfall sends a star from the heavens to crush enemies. When she collects the star, the Dryad gains celestial power in her corrupt form, the Dryad bends the star into a malicious force that creates a patch of damaging terrain. Employing her connection to nature, the Dryad summons a world tree. The tree provides a healing area for the Dryad that allows her to summon other creatures from Terraria to her aid. Her first defense, Moss Hornet's Nest, creates a link to the underground jungles of Terraria. The hornets attack enemies with envenomed stingers, while under the effects of the corruption, the nest becomes agitated, spawning more hornets to swarm at enemies. With Harpy's perch, the Dryad calls upon her friends from the sky. Fashioning a perch from one of the World Tree's roots, the Harpy fires a barrage of feathers at any nearby enemies. When corrupted, the Harpy's feathers deal more damage and pierce through and strike additional enemies. The Slime King allows the Dryad to summon a slime pit, spawning slimes that seek out nearby foes and exploding on contact. When the Dryad is in her corrupt form, the slimes move quicker, deal more damage, and leave a slowing oil on any enemies that they strike. The Dryad's final defense, the Angry Nimbus, summons a charged storm cloud, damaging and drenching enemies below. When corrupted, the angry Nimbus unleashes its rage and periodically flashes lightning strikes at enemies. The personification of natural tranquility, the Dryad struggles to maintain the ebb and flow of good and evil. Can she maintain this delicate balance, or will the raw forces of nature dominate one another? Find out for yourself, and add the Dryad to your hero deck today.